Shots fired! Shots fired! What? What? Let's go! Where? Right there? Hi everyone, Donut here. Welcome to the most highly ever on this channel requested video. I have never received so many emails or so many DMs in my entire life. So here we are. Let's talk about Cop versus Acorn. You may have seen this one already, but we're going to go over it anyways because so many people requested it. A police officer ventilated a poor innocent police car because of an acorn. For those of you who haven't even heard about this one yet, which is probably like five or six of you, I'm not making this up. It's no joke. You know what? else is no joke betting on the ufc fight tonight with our sponsor for this video my bookie ufc 298 is going down tonight the featherweight title is happening we got alexander volkanovsky vulcan volkanovsky vulkanskis versus tapuria <laughs> guys suck at names now then we got the middleweight match between whitaker and costa it's the perfect time to place bets with my bookie they have all the best prop bets for ufc so why should you choose my bookie over the competition they just give the best bang for your buck period score huge wins on boosted odds from my bookie money bag or take advantage of every momentum swing with state-of-the-art live betting however you like to play they make it simple to bet win and get paid if you sign up now i'll tell you how you can play with house money you just got to visit my bookie online use my code donut and claim a deposit match bonus if you're a new customer you get a 50 percent bonus match up to two thousand dollars that's code donut on your first deposit then you can just start your night off with a win Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. Where do we start on this one? Of course, it happened in Florida. We can start there. Florida man is back at it, but this time he's got a badge. This happened in Okaloosa County, Florida, to be precise. November 12th at around 9.30 a.m. The body camera footage from the two officers who were involved in this shooting. Yes, both officers fired weapons. The body camera footage from the two officers who fired their weapons has been released. There is a 44-page report about this that I'm not going to read in its entirety because police reports are boring as f***. <laughs> Instead, I'm just going to try to summarize it as best as possible and not bore the sh** out of you. But don't leave yet. Stick around for the memes. Let's get started. Okaloosa County Sheriff's deputies responded to calls of a vehicle that had been honking its horn and disturbing the peace since 3 a.m. At a separate location, they get a call from a woman stating that her boyfriend was refusing to return her car. Turns out the disturbance was the boyfriend in the girlfriend's car. He was allowed to take it but refused to return it. Uh-oh, looks like we got some domestic violence on our hands. While on seeing the female half showed officers some pictures pictures that the male half had sent her. These pictures were the male half holding a suppressed firearm pointed at her car. He was holding the car hostage. Shortly after the male suspect walked up on scene, the sergeant on scene who was involved in the shooting told other deputies, hey, go ahead and pat him down. They pat him down and then shortly after that, the sergeant said, hey, let's just go ahead and detain him in the back of the police car. He's probably going to be arrested, but go ahead and detain him. Before you place someone in the back of a police car, you want to search them. Now you can actually go in their pockets and get all up in there. squirrels are in my roof again. You know, the ones that caused this shooting in the first place. You see my dog? I'm not in you. There's squirrels in my roof. All right, so now the suspect is searched, cuffed, and placed in the back of the police car. The deputy who starts firing these shots in the first place starts walking back to the car. And that's when everything went down. Now I'm going to read a line to you from that 44-page report. As Deputy Hernandez was approaching the passenger side rear door of his patrol vehicle, an acorn can be seen striking the top of his vehicle. And then in the report for seven pages, it goes into frame-by-frame -frame details of what was happening in the video. Again, I'm just going to summarize some of it. It's pretty long. And if you want to read the entire 44 page report or just skim over it whatever you want to do with it i'm going to leave a link to it in the comments and description below acorn strikes the roof of deputy hernandez's vehicle deputy hernandez continues to raise his right hand while he appears to begin to fall to the ground deputy hernandez yells shots fired he is still falling and it appears he is beginning to fall slash roll to his right side he is still on the grass and his forward momentum has moved him past the rear of the vehicle deputy hernandez yells shots fired for a second time around this time he does two combat rolls does the rolling help? Uh-huh. It helps. Sergeant Roberts can be heard asking what? Deputy Hernandez raises up his SIG P320. I'm surprised it didn't go off accidentally during the combat rolls. Sergeant Roberts asks where? And Hernandez says from the car. Don't worry, we're going to watch the video here in a second. I just want you to know some of the facts going into it. He fires a shot into the car, then falls backwards and keeps shooting in the vehicle. He then yells that he is hit and continues fire. The female, the sergeant, starts firing into the vehicle also. And let's go ahead and play the footage. This is the raw footage up on my Donuts Raw Police footage channel. And we are just going to skip past all the talking because I just explained to you everything that happened. All 
All right, dude's in the back of the patrol car, already been searched, handcuffed behind his back. Here's the violent tree with the violent squirrels in it. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Real quick, mind you, no one, no one had fired any shots. He heard the acorn hit the car. Shots fired! He wasn't hit. And it states later in some interviews that his legs gave out on him, probably due to adrenaline or whatever he was experiencing, and he thought that he was hit in the leg. That was the entire magazine from his SIG P320. And yes, the dude is still sitting in the back of the patrol car. I'm not sure why he turned into Arnold Schwarzenegger right there, um, but those were some badass combat roles. It looked like that patrol car was just a super badass Elden Ring boss and he got out of there really quick. So he crawls to safety behind an adjacent car in the driveway. Safety. So now let's go ahead and watch the female, the sergeant, who also fires shots. It's okay. I know she's looking out for her partner. Did you guys see that crossfire? Holy God. Wait, right there? Jesse! Jesse, are you okay? Get out! The first time I watched that, I was like, holy f she shot him. That's why he like goes down and is like, I'm hit, I'm hit. Somehow though, in the end, no one was struck by gunfire. I'm guessing the dude who is in the back of the patrol car, as soon as he started getting shot at, he was like, oh, f you know, went down on his side or something. With the crossfire, it looked like was going on. The female officer wasn't hit. The male officer wasn't hit. So yeah, that happened, but stick around for the memes. Next, I'm gonna read a couple of things from that huge report directly from there. Then we're gonna get into a little bit more lighthearted stuff. Deputy Hernandez described walking back to his patrol vehicle. I start walking back to my car. Um, so he's on the passenger side um, in the back seat. Um, I'm walking up to my car. I'm about to reach for the door handle. And simultaneously, I, I hear to me at the time what I believe to be a suppressed weapon off to the side. Definitely heard the noise. At the same time, I felt an impact on my right side, like upper torso area. He added, um, so I feel the impact. My legs just give out. I don't know where I'm hit. I think I'm hit. I'm stuck. I rolled to the back of the patrol car and now I'm stuck in the street. And I knew where to fire the shots came from or I believe they came from was right there. I'm reaching for that door handle and I'm laying behind the car. I'm yelling, shots fired, shots fired. I returned fire until I could get to cover behind another vehicle that's parked in a driveway there. And then I just remained behind that vehicle pretty much the entire time until another deputy got there because at this point, I still believe that I had been shot. In the end, like I said, no one was shot. The male deputy ended up resigning. An investigation decided that there was no criminal wrongdoing from either one of them. It says in the report the deputy actually thought that he got shot. The sheriff later stated, We are very thankful Mr. Jackson wasn't injured and we have no reason to think former Deputy Hernandez acted with any malice. Though his actions were ultimately not warranted, we believe he felt his life was in immediate peril and his response was based off of the totality of circumstances surrounding his fear. That's the last bit of the report I'm going to read. It's super long. Like I said, not going over it. Not going to bore the shit out of you. As I said earlier, you can read that in comments below or description. Some people online are saying it looks like a bad PTSD episode, but I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm just glad he isn't a cop anymore. That could have been very f***ing bad. And I have a feeling that the suspect is gonna get f***ing paid. Y'all leave some comments below and let me know what you think about this situation. Do you think the deputy should have been charged for this? Could it have been a PTSD attack? Are these memes coming up any good? Because I haven't looked at them yet. Let's head on over to Twitter. So I says on Twitter, if you have any good memes, videos, or images of cop versus acorn, let's see them. I'll shout you out in the video I'm making. First up, my buddy Law of Self-Defense. He said he did a two-hour show on the legal aspects of this acorn shooting and he went through the full 44 pages he's an attorney i check him out first image from code blue cam probably decentralized their nuts from joe dangerous acorn return fire immediately from my buddies over at tacticon armament please check them out i fear no man but that thing it scares me. <laughs> Held without bond, Chip and Dill. Aggravated assault, attempted murder, possession of a deadly nut, attempting to escape in an unregistered aircraft. Lane says, when I see a spider in my patrol car and it disappears. 
pictures. From Hephaesto, corporate needs you to find the difference between the picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Johnny, possible modifications. From my boy Fresh, saw an acorn, so I started blasting. Oh my God, the AI generated images. Outstanding. Jesus Christ, they released a picture of the suspect. Bunker 530 says acorn fell or something. <laughs> These AI images are too good. Don't fucking shoot me, bro. Oh God, the firefight from Boondock Saints. Oh my God, the AI images. Final destination. <laughs> nice ones, SJ. Mark's safe from acorns today. <laughs> Good old Jeffrey. I was murdered from poorly made police memes. Some of my homies on Instagram. The biggest threat to law enforcement today. <laughs> oh, jeez. Nice one. Florida cops, when they hear an acorn, hit the roof of their squad car. Ah, oh, man, AI is getting out of control. Well, boys, that's enough of that. If you want to see the rest of the memes, go check me out on Twitter. I got a hot date with a hot little wind goon right now. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments below. If you want to watch the unedited version, go on over to Donuts for All Police Footage. Unsubscribe is going to be doing live shows. They're all going to be in Texas, and if you want to know the dates and the location, there's going to be a link below for all four shows. So please, come say hey and watch the Unsubscribe podcast cast live. That's all I have for you fine people today and as always, please have a fantastic day. Whacker.